bounce the ball to start the vital third term here at the Western Oval with the Bulldogs leading by 14 points. Scott West, home Andrew Ops. He's got support for Musea, free kick down the field against West, who threw, uh, he threw Andrew Ops down after he got rid of the ball. And the kick will go to Neitz. Now, Lyon in good position here at the back to Mark. Oh, his grab was he? No, the umpire said no. Smith is here now. Lyon was he tripped? Umpire still calling play on. Smith, Andy Lovell, a kick at goal, and Lovell has kicked to behind. Gee, I thought it could have maybe been free kick down there to Gary Lyon. Didn't seem to be tampered with, but. Uh, Leon Cameron has started the quarter on the bench. Jason Watts has come on into the forward pocket. So Cameron, Bridget and Dimitina are the three on-bench players for Footscray. Smith to kick in for the Bulldogs. Steins, front position. There was a push-out. And Wine will take the free kick. Now these two Brownlow medalists are having some real fun in the run. Kick by Wine towards the outer wing for Grant. But it's chopped off brilliantly by Neitz. He's a good player, Drew, isn't he? Well, he doesn't lack courage and he certainly doesn't lack skill. Kick by David Neitz, short of the 50. Hits the deck. Costa goes in, applying the tackle. Uze slips him. Young Adam Uze, wide for Lyon. And Gary's got it. And Uze looks a player of the future, playing his sixth game. So much, so much balance and poise about his game and the left foot delivery his natural foot was perfect on that occasion. Lyon normally runs out here and plays onto the out wide on the right. Let's see if he does it Drew. He's kicked only one. A straight approach that time and right across the face of goals for a behind. Actually he kicked only one against Footscray the first time they met this year which was his worst return for the year. Been in good form, the uh, skipper, Gary Lyon. He's Rowan Smith, who's been kicking in absolutely beautifully today. Hardly seen a short pass uh, with his kicking in. He's going long again to halfback. Neitz sets himself. Can't take the mark. Here's Costa. Kim Costa dangerously across because there are two modern players there, but Colin looks good enough to take it. Grant. It's away from Pippi, way out here at centre wing. On the half forward line, oh, Hargrave drops a chest mark, unlike him, and he's tackled very, very hard. Liberatore to Grant. Grant breaks the tackle, sprints away and brings it in towards half forward, and the mark has been taken by Kevin Dyson. Oh, the hand pass dropping short of Steins. He has to double back to Dyson. Kick by Dyson towards half forward. Lovell. Can't mark. Phoebe charges straight at it. Open forward line. Go for goal, son. Stephen Phoebe's kick is long. There's nobody there. But it's offline. Well, the forward line it hasn't really functioned today. A few times they've broken away in similar situations. Guys on their own and they've had no one to kick it to. So maybe Neil Baum has got a bit of homework to do there on that forward setup. Talents there, Terry, but just nothing happening at the moment. To half back is Barry Stanfield. Stanfield runs around Sean Smith. He puts enough pressure on him though. Uze sets himself. Scott West, the Melbourne players really putting in now. Liberatore. West, a quick kick. Here's Seacamp, the former Bulldog. Great smother by Costa. Tremendous play by King Costa. Off he goes and brings it in towards half forward. Sexton at the back. Fisted away. Cowell's a very quick player. Gets bumped off the ball by Kellett. Great play by Kellett, who sets sail for home, and it should be a mark. It is a mark deep down the forward pocket here, and it's Chris Grant. Grant chips it across, and the mark taken right in front of goal by Costa. Or was it Watts who took the mark in the pocket? Might have been Jason Watts, I think. He looks very much like. Hunter and Grant. Yes, it was. A great piece of play from Kim Costa. It all started with the smother on the wing, then his run, and now he's up here getting the shot. So Watts, uh, Costa from directly in front, puts it through for a goal. So what a 
to start for the Bulldogs to start this third term. And they now lead by 17 points. Kim Kosser hasn't really made his name as a goal kicker this season. That's his first goal for the season. He's been a very good, hard-working player for Footscray in what was a draft swap, basically for Darren Baxter going to Hawthorne. Callard again stretching out the defence. Jason Watts, good thinking here, quickly moves it on. Costa on the follow-through, takes it on. Back in the centre, and Wine takes clean possession against Steins, but can't win a possession out of the middle. Well, it's grabbed by Hopgood, who shows them a clean pair of heels, Paul Hopgood. A high ball, Smith! got leads coming from Sexton and Hargraves. Hargraves, two bites, couldn't take it. Steins to Cowell. Cowell's normally a beautiful kick. That's no exception. Neats. Oh, I'm very impressed with Neats. On to Uze. In the half forward and Andy Lovell marks. This is a better build up. They've got their two prong forward attack working here. Lyon to the pocket. Here he comes Lyon. Over the back Nicholson. Lyon's got it. Kicks it cleverly. Oh, it just misses for good thinking off the side of his boot, Lyon. Uh, Gary Lyon, I believe, is carrying a, a left quad injury. And as you can see there, it's been the second time today where he hasn't freely gone around onto his left foot when it was the most natural thing to do. He's again tried that right foot banana, that time unsuccessfully. He's tried it a few times this year very successfully. Oh, that's a great player. Ron Smith kicks in for the doggies. 46 to 36, puts Gray in front. Meets, it didn't quite carry to wide. And the combination of Meets and Steins is starting to get on top of Scott Ryan at the moment. Lovell's right on the goal line. The kick goes in short, and here's Jim Steins. The ball just carried to him, and he's building on his stats here again. Seven marks, and he's coming up for his 18th disposal, which is amazing considering we're only uh, seven minutes into the third quarter. Lovell. Spoil. Comes to line. Another one with the outside of the foot. But this time, he didn't get enough outside, and it went inside, outside. Over and gone. Well, interesting what you said, Terry. That sort of bears it out, because normally that'd be a left foot snap, wouldn't it? Yeah, that, that was a terrible choice uh, for Gary to do that, so he must be severely restricted. So Griffin. To the half-back area... Lovett and Steins, Steins to Brett Lovett, he's got support from Obst, a real trier Obst, on to Jimmy Steins, that <laughs> funny looking uh, little toe poke to half forward, but a good mark taken by Steve Phoebe, Jim Melbourne have lifted here, he's a long way out from goal, distance would be a doubt, Steve Phoebe will have to kick it from 50, he doesn't look all that confident, but let's see what he can do, oh, he's just inside 50, there's the kick, Across the fight, Lyon, and he's got support there. Andy Lovell around the corner, smothered off the boot. Taken by Rowan Smith. Smith goes inside the Griffin, who was covered. Back to Smith. He's caught. Good tackling by Melbourne. Andrew Obst on the left foot. Gary Lyon, great play by Obst. What good football that by Melbourne. Obst was most poised in the inner most the pressure there. He knew exactly what was going on, and Gary Lyon presenting himself once again. Footscray defence had been dragged out, and Lyon having that little bit of space there, and uh, Allen trying to get back, and Nicholson left away to the left. Well, it won't be an easy shot. It's a pretty acute angle. Gary Lyon has kicked two. Probably have to kick at the right-hand goal post. No 
Melbourne captain. Out to the right, and he's missed it badly. So Melbourne have now kicked four goals, 13. So that's 17 scoring shots to 11, would you believe? Yeah, one goal, five in this quarter. Gary Lyons kicked one, three, and one out of bounds. Gee, they do use the ball a lot, don't they, Melbourne? They've had 63 handballs to 33. And Jim Steins, a ruckman with Rover stats, 20 possessions. Smith! Oh, he got up level with the Rialto tower, but didn't take the mark. West! West for Footscray. Great penetration to Sexton. Five marks to Sexton. Make the return to the seniors today. He's kicked three goals in the first half. This... Won't score. It's punched away out of bounds. And uh, Sexton's playing just his fifth senior game for the season. It really made an impact before half time. And I can see the Rialto towers from here, Drew. And I'll tell you what, he was nearly up there. He is an exciting player. Sean Smith, there's Prinky getting it down. Well played by Sean White. Good play. To the half back area, he clears the pack. Just thinking, we're out in the western suburbs at the Western Oval Terry. We've got the best view of all time here in the commentary box of the whole city area. It's magnificent. It should be a tourist attraction, shouldn't it? It is a good spot to commentate from out here because it's back flick over the line. So it'll be a throw in. Uh, Footscray's half forward here. Young Hargraves, just three kicks. Wine, we might give him that one. It comes down, and uh, there's Dimitina getting his first kick. Seacamp. Oh, good march, Mark Smith. Well up the ground, taking it left half forward. A stack forward line for the Bulldogs. The kick by Smith. Watts is there wrestling. White should have taken the mark. Mosgren at the back goes off the ground and misses. And brings up the behind. Their second score for the term, the Bulldogs. So Dimitina getting his first run, but uh, Barry Stanfield seems to be the player that's gone off the ground. And Chris Grant is now back with Neitz there. They're all matched up right around the ground. And Dimitina, Paul Dimitina's son of Frank Dimitina, former Richmond star, and former Marcelin College schoolboy. Oh, look at Seat Camp in strife here. How the umpires see that? He's calling play on, which is fair enough. And now he'll come in and bounce. Try to, try to pull a rabbit out of the hat for that trick. But Dimitina, another one from that great football school that produced Gavin Brown, Stephen Silvani, Peter Curran of Hawthorne. And I'd like to point out that you didn't coach football, you taught mathematics. <laughs> I did coach Paul in football, actually. Kill it. Beautiful disposal. And Watts takes the mark. Short pass into Colonia. Watts has certainly been the player to upset the Melbourne defence just at the moment. Uh, Darren Gasper, his direct opponent, has been caught out by the, the mobility of Jason Watts. Uh, Joyce has re redesigned this forward line and it's been for the better in the opening part of this quarter. Watts and Sean Smith play together at Werribee. They would have overlapped with them. On opposite sides today. Kick by Colinuke. Oh, he's missed it from, well, you'd almost say sitter range. And I reckon he had a bit of firm ground there as well. In fact, I would say sitter range. But he didn't kick hard through the ball. He just tried to lollipop it through. And here's Marcus Seacamp. A wobbly kick. It might come off, though, because he's found Pimpy. Oh, he cut. That's holding the ball. He took too long to get rid of it. A bit of a fumble. You can't afford that in the... Uh, football he's west oh a big chance from mark here and jason mox has marked on his own 35 to 40 meters from goal under no pressure whatsoever yeah, neil barn has to uh, has to uh, adjudicate on this matchup at the moment i think he needs to bring perhaps phoebe back onto jason watts because gasper is more suited to one of the tools so uh, Watts almost directly in front, They're looking for a good patch of ground to kick from. Oh, he's hooked it. I think that's another miss. 
So just that heavy patch of man now. Sean White, I think he's getting dragged here. Sean White, and coming back on is Hilton. Well, Footscray in this quarter have kicked one goal three, and Melbourne have kicked one goal five. So, this is VFA's second grade at the moment in kicking the goal. Just at this stage, three at both sides, they, they look like seventh and eighth sides just at the moment. So they haven't been able to take hold of the opportunity. Perhaps the conditions have been a little bit disturbing and not favouring the style of play they want to play. Stephen Phoebe kicks in. Hop good at the 50. Met solidly by Kellett. And Kellett's got the footy just inside the line. Well done, Nigel Kellett. 50 metres out. Hargraves with the sit. Oh, almost. Offhand. Seacamp. Still in trouble, Melbourne. Kripke, you're gone. The ball's there for Hargraves. Down he goes. Well, that was good. There was no scoring then. I enjoyed it. That's a couple of times, kripke has been very slow getting rid of it, Terry. So there he is, Paul Kripke. Hargraves versus Stein. Socket off the ground. Be another throw in. There's nothing in this game. They're pretty evenly matched. Footscray in the ascendancy because they lead by 12 points. Wine and Stein. Stein's flicked it with the left hand onto Ops. He's been very good. Here's Hargraves. Ops again. Good play. Does a lot of heavy work, Ops. Brett Lovett. Now Pripke. He might be caught again. No, he gets a hand pass in. Steve Phoebe. And they swarm in like vultures. And the umpire's going to bounce it. Well, what you get two desperate sides is no room to breathe. And uh, Melbourne are desperate now. After losing last week to Essendon, they've let the opposition behind just with a sniff of a chance of making the eight. So they can't afford to lose this. Hopgood. Pizza tackle towards the other side. Foster leads by 50 metres in this race. Would have been all right if it was Costa, but it was Killett. Big leap in the path down straight to one. kick in towards half forward it clears the pack here's Seacamp and the umpire's found a free kick to go in the way of Melbourne here and it will go to uh, Jeff Hilton Hilton has got a loose man in Dyson at half back looking for someone to give it to he might chip this out wide here now he's now looking to kick it long pack develops it clears the pack in fact Brad Johnson again slips over Knocked on by Griffin. Here's Quill. Back to Smithy. They back each other up well, though. Footscray in the wine. Still going on with it, Scotty Wine. Good play. It's taken by Hopgood. Hopgood's been OK for Melbourne. Left foot around the corner, out wide. Mark dropped by Stephen Phoebe, and the ball's gone out of bounds. Paul Hopgood, 15 possessions. Nigel Kellett has had 10 kicks and a couple of times this quarter has been a mile in the key. They've lost it here. Brett Lovett for Melbourne. Lion front position. Good punch down. Neats. Back he goes to Uze. Class all over this kid. The kick to the goal square. It bounces. But they get back there. And that's Ellen. Caught the good tackle. Ball. Free kick to Smith. Well done by Sean Smith. Plays on quickly to Brett Lovett. 
young Ellen should have knocked it uh, to around the, the boundary line and over. Yeah, just that la momentary lapse in concentration there. He wasn't sure whether he was going to go for the line or keep it in. <laughs> His eventual decision was keep it in, and he was hotly snapping. So Brett Lovett to bring the Demons to within 12 points again. Offline through four and behind. Melbourne have kicked one goal eight from their last nine scoring shots. So it's 18 shots to 15, but they trail by 17 points. So Rowan Smith once again has done all the kicking in for Footscray. Wine and Steins his target. Flicked on by Wine. Liberatore beaten on that occasion and finds Andy Lovell on the burst on 50. But again, blazing long and wide. And Brad Nicholson cleans up. Switches play to Peter Quill. Quill further on. Allen failed to take it. Dyson. Short. And Phoebe. It was clever play by Dyson, uh, Terry, because he saw him out of the corner of his eye and just chipped it up for him. About time they look for a man on his own instead of just bombing it up high. But I'm tipping this is no certainty the way they've kicked the goal. Phoebe has gold. So Melbourne now bounce back, kicking their fifth goal. 5-14-44, trailing Footscray, 8-7-55. Dyson, so very, very quickly here to sum the situation up. Phoebe finding the space and then going back there, obviously, matched to Peter Quill, but a straightforward shot. Well done, Stephen Phoebe. Again, we see Steins versus Wind, and Steins did that well. Vincent gets in a hand pass. Oh, well done, Brad Johnson. He was looking for Keller. Here's West for Liberatore. One on one contest here. Sea Camp and Osborne. Oh, Melbourne did well. Uze, gee, has he got a touch of class? And now Hopkins on his own. No one near him for 40 metres. Paul Hopgood, he can't pick it up. Now he's got it. Hopgood chips it across. This is Brett Lovett. Leeds coming thick and fast. Oh, that was nearly a mark to Smith. Didn't quite hang on to it long enough. That could be holding the ball against Quill. Oh, boy, he dived on it and didn't try and get it out. I reckon that was a mark to Phoebe before the punch came. Let's have a... Well, so he, now he's got the ball. Brings it in. Yeah, Hell, definitely could, holding the ball. Yeah, it could have been. Uh, so here's Rodman yeah. Turkins. Well, here's Dyson on the left foot. Kevin Dyson has put it out of bounds on the foot. This is not good play by Melbourne. They've, they really should be almost in front, if not up with uh, Footscray, certainly up with them. Number 29 you see on screen is Daryl Griffin. Just under four minutes to three-quarter time. 55 to 44, the Bulldogs in front. Neats with a big leap over them and the ball out of play. Both teams have had periods of ascendancy in this game. Footscray lead by 11, probably mainly because of Melbourne's inaccuracy. So it'll be anyone's game in the last quarter, you'd think. Clean possession, Brett Lovett. Not a bad jump over wide. And he's holding the ball. So he paid the penalty for grabbing the footy. Been better to knock it out of bounds. <laughs> well, he did try to grab it and play on, but he was collared. Now, Scott Wine, he's had a fascinating battle. Now, he's got to come back over the mark, does he? And players in all games these days are becoming frustrated. Nobody knows what the players are doing. Well, there's Wine to centre wing. Stein's a little bit of a nudge. He got away with it. Jimmy Stein's, geez, amazing. Very fit player. On to Andy Lovell. Lovell bombs it in long, hoping someone can take a mark. It's punched away by Nicholson. Waiting underneath it was Dyson. Taken away by Griffin. Straight up in the air. Nicholson the mark. Off he goes. Gives it to Costa. And Costa chips it wide. Fights Brad Johnson. Oh, 
Johnson, a shocking kick, and it'll come off though because Kellett's got it. He's having a good quarter, Nigel Kellett. He's caught. And now by Paul play on Hopgood. A little speed stick grabs it. Brings it in towards the pocket. They need a mark. They're not going to get it. Oh, Sean Smith dives on it. Well played. A free kick to Sean Smith round the neck. No doubt about that one. He was collared far too high. And a free kick to Smith about 25 metres out from goal. Just an example of being aggressive at the ball. The mark had to be taken, wasn't able to. And Smith goes in hard. There it is. And it was Chris Grant's extra additional tackle on top of Shane Allen's, which is down at waist height. But Grant coming in over the top. And the free kick correctly awarded. Well, if he kicks this, Terry, they'll only be five points down. And the way they're playing, they're a big chance. They're probably playing better than Fusgrave at the moment, but they can't kick goals. Sean Smith. Kicks for his second. Oh, don't tell me it's another miss, is it? No, it's a goal! Sean Smith kicks his second, and now the difference is only five points. We've got a real game on our hands. For Sean Smith has been a, uh, a revelation at Melbourne this year, a March draft pickup, and he's been as good as we've ever seen in the game in that particular draft selection. Melbourne with 20 scoring shots to Footscray's 15, and they are only the ones that have scored. There's been many that have gone out of bounds in the foot. They have controlled things. It's been a little bit of a hold-up here in the game where umpire John Harvey has gone right back into the Melbourne defence and has walked back out putting his notebook away. So uncertain as to what's occurred there. I'd say somebody has been reported there, and it's the total other end of the ground. 150 metres from the action. Steins, and an excellent mark by Ops. Dyson, the kick by Dyson is long to the goal square. Smith again, wrestled off it. It's still there for him. And the ball is rushed through by Ellen. And it's a behind, so four points the margin. Fitzgray clinging on. Just under two minutes to go to three-quarter time. Fitzgray led by 11 points at quarter time, 14 points at half time. be decided in the last quarter, as was the match in the first round, round four this year, when Footscray... Oh, oh Smith! Unbelievable, this boy. Just oh. keeps throwing himself up there, doesn't he? He was a danger to low-flying planes there. On the bounce, oh, magnificent gather by Ops. Brilliant football, the hand pass in. Dyson at full strength. Glenn Lovett, back to Dyson. Back to Ops, he deserves a goal. Uze! Caught behind, Footscray man in front. Nicholson. Tim Fancy not making the distance from 25 metres off. It's just not good play by Melbourne. He's the kick in. Play on, says the umpire. He tapped on towards Scott West. West. Primke at the back. Sexton. And kicked forward by Dimitina. Colonel. Court. Good tackle. Hilton. There to back up. His seat camp is an improved player. Wine and Grant. It's a loose ball. Lyon was retarded. Lyon was grabbed, and I think the umpire... Oh, he paid the advantage to Uze. Over the back. Who's going to get their first? Desperation by all the players. Good play. Now, who's that there? Well, it's Dyson on the right. When he gets up, it's, in fact, Rowan Smith. Sheer desperation. Oh, very, look, neither of them are the only players that's going to be there, but bang. Taking the peg on the beach. Grant, high tackle, no free kick coming. The hand pass comes out to Johnson. Centre wing, Osman with Seacamp. Ozzy keeps it in, well done. Time running out, six seconds left. I doubt there's time to score. Hilton for Melbourne. Ridden in the back, will take a free kick. And there is the siren for three-quarter time here at the Western Oval. So no point in taking the free. Just a kick the difference. Footscray by four points going into the last quarter. And Cricket's getting in a bit of trouble with the umpires there. 